you give me an example of, of cost efficiency, Dan, for example, I think you just talked about it before, how film or let's say how digital detectors lend themselves to making inspection more cost efficient. And as I said earlier, I got my start in, in inspection of the space shuttle and spacecraft and rockets. So if we use that as an example, um, a lot of the rockets and spacecrafts were originally inspected with film. And if we're looking at making these different types of parts for launching, and you have somewhere on the order of, I don't know, 250 film shots that you need to take on your entire rocket. And these rockets, if you're taking that many, it's big. So these are MV applications, megavolt, very high energy with accelerators. And so the detectors need to be robust. They need to be radiation hard. They need to have shielding. But in addition to that, we, we can take many, many shots. So if we want to cover an entire part and we're doing multiple shots on that part and say we take 75,000 shots. We can expand on that a little bit more. If you look at a prepackaged film um, from one of the film manufacturers uh, uh, and you buy a package of 100 or approximately here when we purchased them, about $6.40 each. So if we were gonna cover that entire production run, that 75,000 shots to cover the 150 parts, that'd be about $480,000 for the year, just to buy the film to take those shots and inspect the rocket. Right, that's for one year. And that's for one year, so. Well, <clears throat> okay, that makes a lot of sense then to, if you can, to use a digital detector in that situation, of course, right? Yeah, yeah they turn out to be a cost-effective bargain in that area because, um, you get your shots back instantaneously. You no longer need to deal with the chemical processing of the film. Um, the oh, yeah. con On that note, so those 480,000, that half million dollars per year, that doesn't include the chemistry, correct? Or that the doesn't include equipment. the chemistry, doesn't include the time. Mm -hmm. The archiving, I guess, correct? The archiving yeah. of the film. Right. Uh, the eventual converting of the film to digital, which people are required to do anyway as well. And also the recycling of the chemicals. You don't need to do this. No recycling of the chemicals, no disposal of the chemicals. And as we said, we touched on some in the discussion of the digital detector arrays. The images come back instantaneously, so you know you're getting good images. Yeah. And if you see any uh, information, then you can repeat or use another place immediately. So you don't need to go back and then make the same setup. And yes, yeah, so it definitely helps with optimization of your x-ray shots because now instead of taking a radiograph and running it through the film processor it comes up on the screen and we can see that it's wrong and we can tweak it and look at it again a few seconds later.